Hello everyone, SJ Mapler here with the first video of 2015 on this channel. Hopefully it's a good year for everyone and every channel out there. And yeah, let's get started. Today we're talking about friendship and I have brought in a great group of friends. It's just some average people who happen to be very good at their jobs, travel through time and befriend skateboarding dinosaurs, the Super Time Force. And we're playing Super Time Force Ultra today to emphasize the awesome coolness of friendship. I, I know those adjectives were very vague and non-specific, but trust me, what I say is true, possibly, maybe not, I don't even know. Moving onwards, uh, Super Time Force Ultra is a run and gun action platformer type of game where you are, have the ability to rewind time and like be different people and then save people in the past and the future and there's many paradoxes and it doesn't quite make sense and if you're watching this for the first time you probably have no idea what's going on but maybe you do because you are a genius and it is really fun to play um yeah so um on the topic of friendship with the super time force uh I'd like to express how many interesting qualities there are and the great range of friendships there are in this video. Uh, that said, whenever I make a commentary, it is never my personal final word on the topic. I am subject to continue that topic onwards in another video. So if you see another commentary labeled friendship, um, yeah, I have more thoughts to speak on it. For uh, I mean, I have more, I have more things to say about that specific topic and. Uh, Possibly I'll add to uh, the previous video, or even maybe fight against it. Maybe maybe I'll look back and say, hmm, I was wrong about that. Maybe I shouldn't have said that. Let me clarify. I don't know. We'll see where this goes, but um, that aside. Friendship is, is really weird because it's like a mutual agreement between two beings to hang out and or talk at, to each other. Maybe even just to acknowledge each other's existence. That's kind of kind of what friendship is in a way. You can't really. It's it's challenging to describe human relationships because all of them are so unique and varied, and like you're friends with different people for different reasons, and you do different things with different friends. You got different types of friends. You got friends that may or may not be closer than other friends. It's it's. It's weird how we put in this giant bubble of relationships. You got your family, you got your romantic relationships, your significant other relationships, your partner relationships, you got your like work relationships, and then you got friendship, which just, it could be all of those things and something else. It's just really weird how, how much friendship spans all these types of relationships and stuff. I'm gonna say both of those words, uh, friendship and relationships, uh, quite a bit throughout this video, so I apologize in advance. Um, yeah, uh, and one of the things that really stuck with me from a video, uh, Hutch's video to be exact, one of Hutch's videos, was, um, really stuck with me for years, re regarding friendship, is that, uh, all relationships, uh, significant other or not, require work and maintenance, and that, that, when I first heard that, like, it's a pretty obvious thing, but when I first heard that, I got super anxiety, and I was stressing out over that statement so much. You put it more eloquently, but besides the fact, um, he totally like just blew my mind. I'm like, what? Even friendship isn't forever. Even even bonds between people can die in a road and be corrupted and like just cease existence based on nothing. It's just like, oh man, I got I got super got super sappy about it, but then I came back with a newfound confidence because I realized, like, every interaction you have ha is more significant with that knowledge because even if you have, like, an awkward conversation or a general period of silence where you're just hanging out with someone but, like, neither you are saying much and you're, like, nothing's really happening, like, you're still supporting the relationship. You're still, like, giving giving it a chance, you know? You're, you're, you're ensuring that this thing is alive. It's, friendship is live and that it's totally possible for you to like make it even stronger through this like small perhaps generic interaction like even saying hi and how you're doing like it, sure you may get way too used to those statements throughout your lifetime but like at the same time it could be the thing holding up a friendship it could be these little small conversations these chats on facebook these texts on your phone these little snapchats 
that, that link with that person, that the fact that they're still acknowledging that you even exist, um, alone could just support a friendship for the entirety of your life, possibly beyond, possibly not beyond. But <laughs> um, yeah, it's 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 cool, it's interesting, and uh, man, it it gets me super happy. I really I really wanted to make this video around Christmas time because I had a very friendship filled. Christmas holiday season type of thing when I was on break um, mo for the most part uh, my my uh, academic breaks proved to be very low on social interaction uh, relative to other people they they proved to be very very me sitting at home playing Super Time Force Ultra and uh, or another video game and just like not not really doing much being okay with the holidays overall but not like not, not like actually hanging out with people, not making uh, arguably the most of my time. Like, I'm not dissatisfied with it, and I really appreciate the break, but at the same time, I'm not, I'm not like having a super amazing party uh, tournament type thing, because it's not necessary, but like, it's a possibility. Uh, that's out there, you know? But uh, this this holiday season, or at least the one of 2014, uh, I was able to hang out with my friends almost each and every day, and it was amazing, and it was like a whole new experience for me in terms of holidays, and it really warmed my heart. I really wanted to talk about friendship then, because I had a super great experience with it around that time. Now that time has passed, and I'm still good friends with people. It's unbelievable. It's an amazing thing, and um, I'm, very, I'm very happy in that regard. Uh, yeah. So, the friendship, the friendship feels, they are so real. Um, <laughs> oh, I got really pumped up there. I just need to catch my breath for a moment, I apologize. But, uh, friendship is definitely something to be respected, definitely something to be regarded. I think it's a very important thing that, uh, you, when choosing friends and, like, maintaining friendships with them, that you actually care about them and, like, what they do. And uh, you, you make the effort, you become more assertive in a way. Maybe not more assertive, maybe you're already a very assertive, very friendly, amiable type of person. Uh, but I think it's, it's I think it's important, like in order to maintain these friendships, to go out of your comfort zone, to perhaps provoke a little more interaction, even if you're nervous about saying hi or giving a compliment that's completely random and out of the blue, uh, go ahead and do it because it feels awesome and it I won't say it like necessarily makes everything better and you'll go places with it, but it could happen You could go places with it. There's definitely that potential like uh, I was on the bus and uh, I passed by my friend's house and uh, I, I was reminded of my friend. I, I just like texted him a compliment just like you know I think you're a pretty cool guy and like th that was just no context out of nowhere It might have like I had nervousness like oh man, maybe you think it re it's really weird that like Someone just texts him and says, you're really cool out of nowhere, but like, I did it, and uh, it felt great for me personally. Uh, I got a positive response. Might have been, might have been like a, uh, okay, thanks, uh, wh why are you telling me this now? <laughs> or like, yeah, I know I'm great, yeah, thank you, thank you for telling me, but I already know, nah, it wasn't like that, but <laughs> still, uh, it feels really great, like just get out of your comfort zone, try to make more friends, try to talk to more people. Um, even in the process of making friends, you don't have to lose your friends just because you don't see them. Uh, we have so many, so many types of weird ways of interaction and communication at this point of the time that there's really no excuse to lose your friendship besides, uh, lack of effort. Like, for example, uh, I graduated from high school recently and I thought I would lose a lot of my friends because, well, we don't hang out at school anymore and... To an extent, that is somewhat true, because there are a lot of people I just don't talk to, I just don't acknowledge anymore, just because I don't see them on a regular basis. But, that said, you can it's possible to keep friendships very much alive, it's still possible to hang out if you're living in the same area, even if you're living in separate areas, you've got tons of communication options, such as online calls and chat rooms, and it's, it's really, it's a really, uh, you've got lots of methods in order to convey convey a sense of a sense of mutual trust a sense of mutual uh, I, I don't want to use friendship again because I've said that so much but uh, a sense of companionship in a way yeah yeah so um, 
That's that matter. Uh, I also want to bring up another example of friendship that I've seen on the internet. There's many of these examples of that, but uh, you can also have friends who you just know online, which is pretty neat. You can never get to know them in real life or anything, and you can still have a qu qu quite, quite, quite a bit of like interaction. I've, I've also had that. I'll have to make a commentary on that, but uh, that's besides the point. Uh, yeah, uh, example of like really, really, really good, good feeling moment. Um, I was watching this video game podcast, and this podcast is full of co-workers, people who are above one another in the corporate ladder. Uh, so, kind of a weird situation where you got like bosses talking with uh, the actual workers, and uh, it wasn't just management either. These are people who like are high above uh, whoever's established on that podcast. I'm not naming the podcast because I'm not trying to advertise them, and I want to talk about their specific establishment in the future, but uh, w one of the comments that was received from uh, from uh, a listener's um, opinion, one of the comments from a listener of the podcast, which was read on the podcast, was that one of the people had an incredibly fake laugh, and uh, so the guy said he would try to stop laughing as much because he didn't want to, he didn't want to deliver that sense of, uh, not uh, sense of falseness towards the uh, the audience, yeah, the listeners. And um, after he said that he would stop laughing as much, immediately his boss stepped up and well, not boss, person who was higher than him stepped up and said, "No, like just keep laughing if you find it funny." Because like pe he put, he brought up how like people criticized him for like having poor eating habits, even though he had like amazing eating habits based on cosmetics alone. And he like he really stood up for the guy, really ensured that. He was able to laugh and enjoy life regardless of the fact that people thought his laugh was fake. And I really appreciated and respected that moment in the podcast because you you, you don't think you'd see that a lot. Where like someone uh, above you stands up for you against like the, the entire internet. They, they took time out of their day to stand up. They could have changed the subject. They could have like completely ignored or not acknowledged that statement. But they took the time and made the decision to actually stand up for their... For their, um, I'm gonna say, like, underling or co-worker, even. Just, like, just, they did a thing that a friend would do. And it's really cool to see, even in a working environment, like, a great sense of friendship, a great sense of community, a great sense of, like, I like what you're doing, or, like, that thing you did was cool. And just that, that sense of encouragement and stuff like that. Of course, n you don't have to hang out with, like, people all the time. There's a lot of people who don't. A lot of people who are fine with being alone for a majority of the time. But I think even they, they're like, just like having friends. Maybe not necessarily to hang out with or talk to all the time, but just, just to have and, like, make those small moments where, or those short moments where they do interact, like, even more personal, even more established, and, like, friends just make life better, at least for me personally. Maybe that's not the case for you. Maybe you've gone through certain experiences and interactions which contradict such a statement, but hopefully, hopefully you find friendship out there among other things that are prosperous because and like I I want to make the assumption that like you already have friends maybe you're in the, one of those situations where like you have friends but you like feel like oh man they're always partying they're always not hanging out with me because I know a lot of people do get that feeling myself included but um, they're still your friends like they don't stop being your friends and if you just put yourself out there out of your comfort zone a little bit, aim to like maintain or step or even like improve the re relationship. Uh, I think you can like go places with that. Of course, now you can just get no response. You can get a scene at 803 p.m. and uh, just live with that. But like, you don't know if you don't try, right? Like, it's worth a shot. And I think it's easier to do so with friendship than it is with a lot of other relationships and uh, between people and so and so and so forth. So, just like, I heard about this thing. I forgot where I heard it, to be honest. I think it was on YouTube by some blogger or something like that. Probably a filmmaker. But they pointed out that um, five seconds of courage a day can do a lot. And uh, I believe that's true. I believe that's true. Five seconds, five minutes. Even, like, one decision a day made of courage uh, can really change that entire day for the better. It can change your entire life for the better. You don't have to be courageous all the time, but, like, even if you just muster it up for that short burst for that very small period of time, it could go places, and uh, I think that applies very well in the world of friendship. I think it's possible to make new friends with assertiveness, with uh, even to say hi, even to say what's your name, even to say, 
uh, how, not, not even how's it going, just like, bring up something. You, even if you have nothing to say, say something, as opposed to saying nothing. Sometimes, sometimes, yeah. Not all the time, sometimes it's better just to say nothing, but. If you're at a loss for words and you're just like, ah, I, w I, w I wanna like talk to this person but I don't know what to say, just say something, and it's bound to go somewhere, right? Even if it's not much, it's still, it's still better than nothing. That, that, that conversation you had meant something in the smallest way, but it still meant something, and that, that's pretty cool. Uh, yeah, so, hope you've enjoyed uh, this, little, this little weird, hyperactive, uh, flabbergast of a commentary about friendship, and, uh, uh, hope to, hope to make more videos. Hope you live a good life, hope, hope things work out for you, and, uh, yeah, I hope you explore, enjoy the world and what it has to offer, even if it's just Super Time Force Ultra, very, very, very good indie game, very creative and very cool art style. I will see you guys in the future, or you will listen to me in the future, or something along those lines. Your existence will be acknowledged personally by me in the future, unless something happens to prevent me from doing so. Thank you. I really do appreciate your time. And, uh, have a nice day. Super Time Force Ultra is out of here.